。法国总统马克龙十号亲自出马，一边挽着夫人布里吉特，一边带领一众巴黎申奥代表团抵达瑞士，受到国际奥委会主席巴赫的迎接。法国巴黎曾经在一九零零年和一九二四年分别举办过夏季奥运会。倘若巴黎这次成功申办，将是巴黎时隔一百年后再次举办夏季奥运会，意义重大。All sports, all people. See you in Paris, 2024. I wanted to be here to convey the full commitment of the the entire French nation, the full commitment of French authorities behind this project and to back this project. Because I think it's a very good one. I think these people work very well. They are ready now, ready to deliver. And because I do believe that French people are ready. Ready to welcome this Olympic Games. 法国为了争取申办百年奥运而努力。美国洛杉矶代表团同样对承办奥运志在必得。My name is Casey Wasserman, and I am the chairman of LA 2024. I can't think of any disadvantages of Los Angeles. I think all of the uh, you know uh, necessary requirements uh, to host the games and to to host a positive and uh, successful game. 究竟哪个地方将是二零二四年奥运会的举办地？或是双方都是大赢家？国际奥委会将在七月十一号和十二号举行的特别会议上投票决定是否采用双重投票规则。根据双重投票规则，落选申办二零二四奥运会的一方将获得二零二八年奥运会的举办权。安迪西综合报道。